Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So if you guys remember a couple months ago, we hatched out a couple chickens. And right there, those three are uh, the ones that have now grown up. So these are introduced to the flock. It was a lot of work to be able to introduce them, but they're doing really well now. And they are definitely, you know, good with the flock. However, I believe two of them are roosters. Um, and that's the one up on top right there and back there is another rooster this one here the darker black one that one's pretty sure that one's a hen so we might have to get rid of those two okay uh, because they'll fight uh, especially with our rooster and where is he he's right there but what you might have just noticed i've got some news we've got little baby chicks here so one of our hens decided to go broody pretty much a week after we introduced these guys to the flock. 21 days later, out popped five. So we had 21 eggs. So she started off laying on nine eggs. And then periodically, as time went, the other hens would come and lay in the same box, kind of right on top of her actually. So she started laying on those. So we had 21 total eggs uh, before I had a chance to be able to move her out, mark all the eggs that were in there, and then move her back in. So anytime she was able to get up, I could check for the marked ones. Anything that wasn't marked I knew was newer, so I could then bring those in to eat and leave the other eggs. But only five ended up hatching out, actually. Six hatched out and one didn't make it, okay? It, it, died coming out but this is so much easier i'm going to tell you than trying to hatch out your own eggs like with those guys and then introduce them to the flock uh, it took a while until they were big enough where the other chickens weren't harassing them and bothering with them it just they did not want those in here um, and it took a lot of work on our part to introduce them but with the babies and the mama the mama basically takes care of that for you she's a little more aggressive and so if any of the other hens or me get near the chicks she does get a little defensive she'll peck and you know frill up her feathers and you know act all all standoffish um which scares them away but even now um at little baby chick size they are doing just fine and she actually lets them kind of run around they're not always under her wing anymore they're they're out and about and none of the chickens are messing with them so they've all accepted them at such a young age it's so much easier so much quicker they're already over a week old i believe they've already got their wings so they're doing really well let's get to it i'm going to show you guys the process of when we found out and kind of what we were doing um, I explained a lot of it just now, but let's go through all that and then I'll bring you guys back and you guys can see how they're doing now. They're part of the flock, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I've got something else going on here. Right in there. This hen over on that side, on the left there, that one is broody. That one is sitting there it's been sitting there for now uh since midday yesterday all the whole time till now so she's brooding so we might have even more chicks which i'm not sure what to do here because we don't have the room for all of them however i'm pretty confident that this one right here the multicolored one there that is a rooster we can see we've got we've got the saddle feathers coming off the or not saddle sorry the cape feathers or whatever they're called coming down they're getting long also the tail is starting to curve down and he also this one acts a little bit more roostery pretty sure that one's a hen it's possible this is a rooster as well we'll check it out we got a little baby mama's mad she won't let me near it but about as close as i'm willing to get that's pretty cool So, in order not to make the Malma mad, I am filming from back here. It's hard to see. It moves every once in a while. Hopefully it'll live. There we go. You got it, little guy. Hopefully, little girl. 
So there we go, there's the second one. And it just recently hatched. And there's one up under the mama here. It's hard to see, but it's moving around a little bit. She's got him covered, or her, hopefully. But there we go, they're hatching. Mama's pretty mad. You can see the hairs raise up. She don't want me in here. Feathers. But, you know, if I get close, look, watch, they'll... Yeah, feathers, not hairs, you're right. See, uh, feathers are raising up, she's getting mad. So she's protecting them, that's good. So the chickens are doing well. You can see she is not happy when I open this, but there's a little baby under there. Most of them are sleeping, but I put a little water, like a little dish of water in there and a little bit of chick food. And they, I've, I've seen them eat, but it's been two days since uh, the first one hatched. We still have quite a few eggs that have not. So we will see what happens, but we've got quite a few little babies under there. And I just was out a minute ago and they were all out but now they're back to sleeping under mama. So I'll come back and show you guys all the little babies. We need water. You can see all the little babies. One just hatched right there. So I've been bringing in, mama's mad. They don't get me. Oh, she's drinking. That's good, she needs it. Anyway, so I brought in some water. She's leaving. Huh. Don't get me. Let's see what's happening here. All right, Mama. Hold on. So we've got this. There's some chick feed. And I've just been getting a little scoop so that way there's food in there because I don't think she wants to bring them out too much right now since they're kind of not all hatched yet. All right, mama. There you go. There's some food. Yeah, mm, it's okay. Mm, good. Eat some. You need it. Eat away. You seem all healthy. Pretty cool. This is pretty cool, guys. We got all the little baby chicks running around. Not all of them. She decided not to lay on those. I had to move them down because she brought the chicks down and then she wasn't going up where the eggs were. I brought them down, put them in here, try to keep them safe, but that's just not working out. So she's gonna stay down here with them, I guess, but they're running around only five. Well, actually we had six hatch, but one died. So unfortunately, but uh, we got five out of 21 eggs. Look at all those that haven't hatched, so. I don't think they're going to. I think that's it. It's been about three days now. Four days, actually, I think, since the first one hatched. I've still got baby chicks. They're looking cute. I got three that are black and then two that are like, they look like the Silver Phoenix, just like the Silver Phoenix when they were babies. So the baby Silver Phoenix were very, uh, they're, they're almost identical. They, they look just like that. So and there's, there's the male silver phoenix. So that's what it'll grow up to look like if it's a male. The female, a little different. She's no longer with us, but it's pretty cool though. So mama's been good at protecting them. Unfortunately, I've got to try to seal up this run a little bit better. So I've got these rocks here. Nothing really can get in or out except for the babies. They find a few holes like that. So I've caught them out here running around. I have to pick them up and bring them back in. So I gotta figure out how to seal all this. So I just brought a little dish of water here just cause I'm not sure they can reach up into that. Plus that's, I need to hose that out right now, but there we go. They're all drinking from it right now. So that's good. They, they needed water. The mama has protected them and you can see she's not letting them anywhere near. 
She gets a little aggressive, but none of them are really attacking the babies. So babies are allowed to do their thing. And even the rooster is just letting it be. So that's pretty amazing. It was such a pain with this one and those two to bring them in and try to introduce them into the flock because they, even at six to eight weeks or so when I did, this rooster wanted to kill them and a bunch of these others were pecking at them and, you know, harassing them. But there's no harassment going on right now with the babies and the other chickens. So this is so much easier. Uh, I think from now on, if I ever raise more baby chicks, I'm going to try to get them. If I have to buy them, I'm going to get them when a hen is going broody. And I can slip those eggs underneath or <laughs> maybe slip the chicks in with her and hope that she takes them. You can see I moved all the eggs down and she's not laying on them anymore. So those are a um, lost cause. I don't think they're going to hatch. She's just not laying on them. I guess I could try to um, candle them and see if there's anything in there, but I, I, it's been... It's been like a day or two of her not sitting on them and we had some rain it got chilly last night i don't i don't think they're viable but i could be wrong during the night time she wants to bring them up but they kind of don't get that one has figured it out but the other ones have not so come on mama let's go up let's go up she kind of gave up just now so she was up there and then they wouldn't all come down so i had to they actually escaped out one of the holes here i keep on trying to put rocks up to to block them but they find a way there's there's a hole there that i gotta block up but they find ways out and so i had to go and gather them from outside put them inside but they're not making it up so see if i can get them up come on mama get up come on let's go up let's go up come on I'll help you. Come on. Take him up. Take him up. Come on. Come on, Mama. Let's go. Let's go. Look. This is the one that can make it up. This one also likes to hop on her back. It's pretty funny to watch. All right, let me see if I can get them up. All right, I got them all up and in. Well, good night. Keep those babies safe. Uh oh, check them out. Oh, see, that one's off running around. Nothing's trying to attack it. They're all accepting of it, of them. And you can see how cute they are now. Mom is getting a little mad because I'm walking up close. You can see them. They're just, I mean, they definitely follow Mama. They're pretty close to her. But they're big enough that they can come in and drink, um, which I need to hose this out. <laughs> they pooped on top. It's gross. But they're big enough to get up under here and eat, which I've got actual chick feed right now in their crumble feed. So they're able to eat it um, and all, all the hens are um, eating that, which I'm supplementing with some calcium so they can have calcium, but that's a little higher protein and fat. So, I mean, it's, it's still, it's fine for the, for the hens. But you can see they're off doing their own thing, walking over there and you know, then they come running back, but they venture out. Let's see, there's a little hole there. That one's looking, might go under. Oh, see, he just popped out right there. Look at him. It's it's a pain. I have to come around and try to put him back. Sometimes they'll make their way back in, but oh, let's see if he comes back in. Mama might be calling him. The other thing we were having trouble with, which they just figured out, was trying to get up this and into the coop at night. So the mama, pretty, pretty long before dusk. I mean, these guys are all out, you know, for much longer, but probably about an hour before these guys all go in, the mama will go up and then be calling the chicks to come up. And they, 
they just can't figure it out. They're trying to see if they can get to mama and they can't, but they did last night, finally all of them. It was periodically, one would make it up and then, you know, next day, maybe two. And finally they all figured it out. Um, it's been about, like I said, about a week, week and a half. Last night was the first time that they all made it up there without me having to chase them, so. Pretty cool, we've got baby chicks, so now we've got way too many chickens. Although, like I said, we're gonna have to probably get rid of those two. Those are the two new, uh, and I'm pretty sure they're they're roosters. They fight like roosters too, so they're they kind of hop at each other and try to slash at each other with their, you know, they, just each other though. They're not fighting this rooster. This guy, he's a pain, but he's actually a pretty good rooster, but they, uh, Pretty soon, he's probably gonna be fighting with them. And once I see that happen, I've gotta get rid of him. <laughs> We're gonna keep him. And, oh yeah, so he made it his way back. So you can see that that little, little chick, even though it went out, it made its way back in. Now it's back with mama. So they've been going out and back in, but sometimes they can't find their way back in. So then I gotta chase them and put them back in. But they're getting a little smarter every day. We'll see how many of these are hens but we can't keep any more roosters, not in this space. So um, if they were free range, which we can't do here, unfortunately, then we, uh, we would be able to keep more and they would just spread out and not fight each other. But because they're confined, the roosters would end up fighting. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.